Hi, I'm the Broke Student Chef. I'm going to help you save coins one meal at a time. Today's recipe is the perfect Nigerian jollof rice. Jollof rice is a very popular dish in West Africa, countries like Ghana, Senegal, and even Nigeria, like I said all have their own ways of creating jollof rice and even within Nigeria all different tribes create their jollof rice differently today we're going to be needing one red bell pepper two long sweet peppers one juma pepper or other you can also use a taro dough if you have that at home one red onion 125 ml of tomato paste and oh I think I'm forgetting something oh yeah my tomato and let's get down to business guys in your blender add in your tomato your ataro dough your red bell pepper and your sweet long peppers and then go ahead to add your tomato paste you want to make sure you squeeze everything you can from that tomato paste because this ensures that your jello fries will turn red add a little bit of water and go ahead to blend ensure that you do not add too much water so your mixture doesn't become too watery on the third frame you'll see the exact consistency you should have now the onion that you had in the beginning make sure you chop it and you need one third cup of sunflower or vegetable oil two maggi cubes two bay leaves and one teaspoon of each spice salt black pepper paprika powder dry thyme curry i like to work with low sodium salt and i like to use this kind of black pepper that i need to grind you can add an additional teaspoon of pepper if you want i like to add cameroonian pepper when possible just to give myself that extra spice and oomph so now that you have all your spices together you're going to go ahead and heat up your pot and add in your oil Once your oil has heated up, now is the time for you to add your onions in there. As you can see, that tingling sensation that the onions have, hmm, that is the magic. Now add in your bay leaves and stir. Now add in all the spices that we talked about in the previous clip. Stir well. Once your onions have turned like golden brown color, it will be a great time for you to add in your tomato mixture. If you have a stove that is close to a wall, please use the part of your stove that is far away from the wall because I can guarantee you that this thing will spark and once it gets on your wall, it will be very difficult to clean it off. Allow your mixture to cook. Now that you're here and your food is cooking and scenting very nice, it will be a great time for you to turn on your post notification bell button and subscribe to my channel and check out my blog brookstudentchef.com for weekly recipes. Now we're going to continue with 3 cups of rice. I like to use President rice, it's the best rice I have discovered for jollof rice and fried rice recipes. Because I'm going to be using 3 cups of basmati rice, I'm going to also use 3 cups of water. Please ensure that you do not get lazy when washing your rice. Washing your rice prior to cooking your jollof rice is important. Now that your mixture, your tomato mixture has cooked, add in the 3 cups of water there and then go ahead and pour in your rice. Turn your stove to a medium heat and mix the rice with the tomato mixture. Cover everything up with a foil paper, aluminum foil <laughs> rather, and close the pot. Allow it to cook for 30, 25 to 30 minutes actually. Now we can see what we have here. Mmm, do you see how smoky this jollof rice is? That extra paprika powder I added is one of my secrets to making the perfect smoky house party jollof rice. Guaranteed to have your kids 
roommates, everybody in their house happy and licking their fingers. You can eat your jollof rice like that or add some fried plantains. But for me, jollof rice is never complete without that my special chicken. If you want to know how I create my chicken, my baked chicken actually, um, I have a video of that. I will link it to the description box. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to like.